Hello, social media. Hi, you guys. Welcome to Lakita T. Sharp's famous inspirational mini. I am so happy that you have this joined me on today. So I welcome you. Today is November 1st. It is Wednesday night around 10.30 a.m. p.m close to Thursday morning. So hi, you guys, wherever you may be. I hope that you are somewhere and you are, well, I hope you're safe and I hope you are okay right now. Well, anyway, check out my books over at amazon.com. There are over um, 100 books for me for you to choose from. You can check them out, like I said, at Amazon.com. Head over and also head over to my website for additional inspiration. And if you want me to coach you, feel free to reach out to me during this hour and I will coach you. And also, if you want to donate to the ministry, feel free to um, leave a donation. I thank you so much. No gift is too small. So, hi, you guys. So, anyway, today's message, we're going to be talking about rushing the process. We're going to be talking about rushing the process. Now, let's look up the definition process. Process is a series of actions or steps taken in order to achieve a particular end, a procedure, an operation, an action, an activity, an exercise. Well, anyway, um, so let me continue. So listen to this. We're talking about rushing the process. We live in a time now where everybody want things instant. They want the instant hairdo. They want the instant um, nail nails. They want the instant eyelashes. They want the instant. Um, they want the instant um, food. The instant. Um, not having to work for anything and just to go ahead and just get it without having to work, but they want it, um, whatever that may be. The world in this time wants everything instant. Now, when it comes to God and dealing with God, anything that concerns God it concerns a process. It's a process. And it is a, um, how can I say? It takes time. Think about this. Anything that God is involved in takes time. When a woman is pregnant, it takes time for the baby to grow in the mother's stomach. It takes time for the baby to grow. Your hair, it takes time for your natural hair to grow out. It takes time for that. Your natural nails, your natural nails takes time for them to grow out. Um, when you're chasing a dream, it is a process and it takes time for you to, um, get to where you want to get to. Being a writer is a process. You have an idea. Now you must write. Then you must edit. Then you must proofread. Then you must, um design and publish the book. It is a process. Everything is a process when it comes to God. It takes time. 
It takes time to grow. Are you expecting your kids to grow at a certain pace? Are you expecting your spouse to grow the way that you want them to grow in your timing? Everything has a timing and a process when it comes to God. What are you looking for? What are you looking for? Are you looking for something? Are you looking for to get married? Are you rushing the process? You go out on a date. You take your time to get to know the person. Date the person. Get to know them well enough before you want to spend your life with someone you hardly even know. What is the big rush? Are you rushing the process? Are you in a rush? Check out my book, Why You Shouldn't Rush. You can purchase it at Amazon.com. Why You Shouldn't Rush. Things that are great. Things that are worth it. It takes time to have a good relationship. It takes time to have a good career, a good friendship, a good whatever it may be. It takes time to nurture things. There is a process. In the way God does things. Sometimes you may find yourself going through the same situation over and over again. But God is teaching you so that you can see what you need to learn. He is having patience with you. That's why you keep saying the same repeated thing. That's why you keep going through the same repeated issue. It takes time to be great. It takes time to be at the top. It takes time to be where you want to be you have to be patient you have to be patient with your spouse you have to be patient with your boyfriend and girlfriend you have to be patient with that child you have to be patient with that business. You have to be patient. You understand? Patience. Because the growth process takes patience. It takes patience. Think about it. Any thing that is worth having takes patience but everybody majority of the people want everything instant they go to a restaurant and you want your food now and the restaurant is a busy restaurant and you want your food now but you have to wait so it can be cooked, so it can be prepared, and then served. 
It's a process. And sometimes you have to wait. You have to wait to plant that garden and wait until it's time to reap the harvest. You sow the seed, you water it, and then you wait for it. If you are a giver, and God teach us about giving, always giving, you sow a seed, like leaving a donation, and then that seed, God bless that seed, and then in due time, you shall reap that seed back. You sow the seed, which is the money you donate to wherever organization you want to donate to. You wait for it. And then God bless you and you reap things back for you being generous. Well, anyway, that is my time. We are the chosen ones. We do right. We live right. We are right. We make a lot of mistakes, but we continue to move forward because why? We are the chosen ones, baby. Recognize. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.